마지막 기조 강연을 듣도록 하겠습니다. 마지막 기조 강연해 주실 분은 비즈니스 인드 클라우드의 저자이신 마이클 휴고스이십니다. 주제는 비즈니스와 클라우드 모든 비즈니스가 알아야 될 클라우드라고 합니다. 큰 박수로 맞이해 주시길 부탁드립니다. 안녕 하시오 한국에 아시오 용광 입니다 I will talk first about the business realities that are changing the way that we do work, and then I will talk about how cloud computing is making these changes possible. The first thing to remember is that for the last hundred years in business, we have been entirely focused on being efficient. And efficiency is good, but efficiency requires a predictable and stable market. And those things are hard to find now. Product life cycles are measured in months. For instance, how much is a 12-month-old smartphone worth anymore? Does anyone want a 12-month-old smartphone? Everyone wants a brand new smartphone, right? So because product life cycles are so short and because things change so quickly, it is harder to be efficient. And what I would say now is that in business, the yin and the yang of business are efficiency on one hand and responsiveness on the other hand, and perhaps responsiveness now is the most important thing because it is in responsiveness that we find profits and perhaps we are seeing a change now that is not seen in business since the introduction of the assembly line. So I will expand on these ideas. Let's first start with an analogy. Let's assume that there are two cars and you are going to be in a race. Now, the first part of the racetrack is straight and flat, but then the racetrack starts to curve and go up hills and around corners. When you think about driving in that race, which car do you want? Do you want a car that goes very fast, which is an efficient car, but that very fast, efficient car cannot go around corners very well. As a matter of fact, when you try to take a sharp corner in that efficient car, it will flip over. So perhaps you are better in this race to drive a car that doesn't go as fast, it is not as efficient, but it is efficient enough, it is still pretty fast, and it slows down and it takes corners and it accelerates very quickly. We are now in that race where the race course goes up hills and around corners very quickly, so I think we want the car that is less fast, a little bit less fast, but it turns the corners more quickly. So that is the analogy between efficient and responsive. If I am in that race, I want the responsive car, the car that goes around corners very quickly. Our last, the last speaker, Jeremy Rifkin, I have read some of his works and I am much influenced by some of the things that he has said. A book of his, his most recent book is called The Empathic Civilization and he made this statement about we are now in a cybernetic economy where the buying and selling of the 20th century is now being replaced 
by continuous access to services, this whole idea of a one-time one buyer and seller transaction now is an old idea, and instead now we are forming ongoing commercial relationships between people. So customers, people now, they want access to services, not just products. And examples are things like Netflix. Instead of buying a DVD with a movie on it now, we buy access to a whole library of movies. In the United States, there is a company that is very popular. I live in Chicago. I live downtown in Chicago. And I don't really need a car. I need access to a car on those times when I have to drive somewhere. Otherwise, I will use the mass transit or I will walk. And so there is a company called Zipcar. And Zipcar is a great way for me to avoid a big expense of a car and instead just use it when I need it. Cloud computing is an example of instead of buying, I was a chief information officer for six years of a large company that was headquartered in Chicago. And one of the things that we did was we delivered all of the paper cups to all of the Starbucks stores in America. And it was a very interesting job. But at that time, and that was only 10 years ago, and I left that company five years ago, when I was at that company, I built a huge data center. I would not do that again. Instead, I would use cloud services because you can imagine the amount of pleading and begging that I had to do with the chief finance officer and the CEO when I would come in and ask for millions of dollars to build a data center. And they would look at me and they would say, well, Mike, you want all of this money where will you make profits for us? We are reluctant to invest all of that money without seeing profits. So instead, I would take a pay-as-you-go approach. Our first speaker, Jim Newton, talks about TechShop, and TechShop is another example of buying access. All of you people in this audience who have ideas for products that you could make, before you made the product, you would have to either go out and buy an injection molding machine or a drill press or a lathe, or you could buy access to all of those machines by becoming a member of one of Jim's clubs and just using the machine when you needed it. So those are the models now that Jeremy Rifkin is talking about in the cybernetic economy. That is the world that we are moving into, and that is the world that allows us to respond to customers. And I will perhaps use an example. Another fine company that is also headquartered just outside of Chicago once owned the world market in cell phones. That is a company called Motorola that company has completely lost the cell phone market. The remaining part of its business that is involved in cell phones, it looks like it will be sold to Google now. And you ask yourself, what happened? That is an example of a company that did not keep pace with the new economy. That was a company that perhaps still makes the highest quality cell phone at the lowest price, but nobody wants their products.